Hello, I'm Scott, WU2X, and I'm here again with Lee, WW2DX, um, back to demonstrate some more um, Power SDR IF stage um, with the Lcraft K3. This time our setup is a little bit better. We have uh, some software here directly monitoring the software so that you can get a more clear picture of what's happening here. Um, the audio that you can hear in the background right now is actually audio coming directly from the Power SDR software application. It's um, directly into the video, so it's not being picked up through a microphone or, or anything like that. Um, this way we can uh, do a little bit better demonstration of <clears throat> you know, what you're able to hear with Power SDR. And also we'll be able to demonstrate the the second receiver, the sub RX functionality in the Power SDR, where you can hear things in the left and right channel. Um, okay, so right now we could see we're on the 20 meter band. It's um, <clears throat> eight around 8 p.m. on uh, on a uh, Monday here in New York on the East Coast. So 20 meters looks pretty good for this late at night because usually after sunset it's been uh, dying very quick. So. Um, we can see there's quite a bit of activity on the band and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just take the VFO knob and you can see that we have the linking between the K3 and the Power SDR software. Um, we can tune in signals that we hear. Okay, so we see that we have that linking. Again, we're listening to the audio from the Power Power SDR and not coming from the K3. Um, I'll show you here by muting the audio. I can mute the audio on the Power SDR, and now I'll turn up the audio on the K3. Um, and this is obviously not plugged in through um, a direct line but there is the audio directly from the K3 so we'll turn that back down <clears throat> and we'll re-enable the audio from Power SDR. Um, okay so we, we could see we have the linking uh, next I'm gonna demonstrate um, some some of the filtering capabilities this is a good example right here we have two signals that are very close to each other and we can see we hear that station overlapping the target station so we can narrow down our filter width to a, a more normal 2.4 filter width and we could see that we no longer hear that station uh, who, who was just up the band a little bit from us. Very convenient to, to just target that station. As a matter of fact if I want a little bit better fidelity I could still just grab the bandwidth and widen it out and still avoid that station we could see as soon as our filter bandwidth goes a little bit too wide we start to catch signals from that other station so you can see how sharp these filters are we could just pull that down and boom that station is just right out of the picture um, so next what I'll demonstrate is the sub receiver this is kinda cool we have three actually three stations back to back to back here and I'll use the uh, sub receiver to, to kind of demonstrate um, the ability. Right. This uh, this particular K3 that we have hooked up doesn't have the second second um, receiver option hooked up to it. So we're just getting this capability for free with the Power SDR software. Again, this green is our passband that we're listening to. So when I click the sub RX, now the green is our VFO A and it's in the left channel and the blue is in the right channel. And if you have a pair of headphones on you watch this video, you'll probably be able to hear this a little bit better. In this case, we'll, um, we'll tune the second receiver up the band and that interfering station we can tune them in actually let's just go up a little bit more okay so here we have both receivers going at the same time the blue is the second receiver and the green is the first receiver 
Um, one of the features that I just used that um, is going to be very interesting for a lot of K3 users is the fact that in the future, and this is not going to be in version 9.2, this is a prototype code that, um, <clears throat> that we're running here right now. The second receiver is going to be linked to this second knob on the K3. So it's essentially going to be like getting a second receiver, in-band receiver, um, you know, for just the cost of having a soft rock kit or an LP pan hooked up to your K3. Okay, so now I'm going to disable the second receiver and I'm going to zoom out. So as you can see, we can, we, the, thanks to Flex Radio's Power SDR, we have a lot of functionality with the pan adapter where we can zoom into a signal very closely and we can zoom out and see more of the band. In this case we could see um, almost 192 kilohertz worth of band. So um, <clears throat> over here we a lot of what you accomplish with filtering can be done through simply grabbing the the filter with and moving it. Um, another nice feature is when I grab this edge I'm changing the bandwidth. If I grab the whole window and move it, this is this is similar to doing an IF shift. You can also just go right over to this panel and select your filter widths that are preset. Or you can define variable ones for yourself. Um, so that was a little bit about dealing in here with a band adapter. Also let me show the click to tune feature since this will show up a little bit better. What we're trying to focus on in this uh, 10 minute video is you know what benefit you get through this pan adapter and how you can interact with it. Um, the click to tune, say I see a signal down here, I have many options to get down there. I can just take my mouse pointer and click right on it and then drag the pan adapter right up into the green. Okay. I'm going to touch that up with the VFO after to tune in the station. Um, or in this case, now I'm going to demonstrate the uh, click to tune feature. So you right click and you see this station right here. I left click and it immediately brings it closer to the pass band and I'm going to touch it up. Of course, it's a, it's a weaker station talking now. Um, <clears throat> Also, I'm going to bring the sub receiver back up. And where is the. Okay, so the second sub receiver. Here it is here. If you notice, you could tune in somebody on the sub receiver. Okay, that's not good. That's a DRM signal I have. Okay, there's an audio signal on the left. Notice when we tune the right. We tune VFO A. Um, VFO B will track as long as we stay within two kilo, uh, you know, um, 100 kilohertz of the center of our other signal. So you can see how the that VFO tracks and gives us a great visual representation. So um, again, this is video video number two that we were going to make in this series showing some of the features of uh, Power SDR linked up to the K3. So I'm going to uh, sign off for here and we'll prepare for our, our next video since we <coughs> can only make videos in 10 minute chunks here for YouTube. Uh, th thanks a lot. 73 is from W2X.